Hi everyone, thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Brooke Roberts and this is my first YouTube video. I'm actually so excited. I've been waiting to do this for so long and I'm so happy that it's finally here. If you want to see my everyday look, which is right here, and how I completed it, then please keep watching and let's see how it goes. I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish. This, I'm going to put a little bit of this on my fingers, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to also, I like to spray my face as well. So I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spray it all over. Let that dry. Then I'm going to do my foundation. I am using the Dream Velvet Foundation by Maybelline. It's a soft matte hydrating foundation. I really like this one. Um, I feel like it spreads very easily and it can go a long way. And it's light, but it's also very buildable. Um, so I'm going to dab that all over and spread it. Uh, I'm using my Morphe M439 foundation brush. I'm going to apply a little bit more right here, right here, to help bring down to my neck. Make sure that it's blended very well. The next step is I'm going to conceal my under eyes. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Sand. I'm going to put it under my eyes in dots because I feel like this product goes a very long way and you can always add a little bit more. I'm going to Put it on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. I'm going to spray my beauty blender with the Urban Decay Quick Fix. Dampen it. And then I'm going to blend this out. I like to go lightly with my beauty blender. I'd rather dabble it more often and lighter to compact in the product as opposed to smudging it. You don't want to smudge it. between my brow area and my nose. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my Master Conceal in a darker shade. Um, this is medium to deep. Let's do my darker contour. I'm going to take it. Part up there, part up there, on my forehead, on my nose. And I'm going to blend this out with the Beauty Blender as well. Spray it again. So it helps bring the face up. I'm 
I'm going to blend out my forehead. I like to go in and go where I put my highlight on my forehead because I don't like my highlight to be as bright. Now that that is all blended, I'm going to set my under eye. I'm going to take my Luxury Baking Powder by Resolution. I like having a color that is my skin tone because I feel like with a white translucent powder and pictures, it, I don't always wipe it away enough or it just sets and makes me look white and you can see and I just don't like that. So I'm going to use this. Sorry, I'm sniffling because I'm sick still. So. Try to get over the sickness. Um, so I'm going to take this. I put a little bit of the baking powder in here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to dab it like this and then dab it underneath my eye to set my concealer. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay. So we will let that sit and we will start eyes. Actually, before we go in to do eyes, we are going to do my eyebrows. I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylus. I like this a lot because I feel like it's very easy to use. I'm going to take this brush. This product is nice because it comes with this brush. I love it. So I take a little bit and then I go in underneath. I start about right here because you don't want to start right here and then make a huge line and it makes it look boxy. So starting outward makes it a more natural look. Then you can go closer to the inner eyebrow and start slowly building that outer corner. Then I'm going to take my brush upward like this and do the front hairs to make it more natural. I will go in with a brush like this. This is the Morphe M 432 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer to do underneath my eyebrow. Then I'm going to just blend it out. So now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill palette. It is my favorite palette. Um, I know it's a lot of people's favorite palette. Um, so to start off with, I'm going to take my Morphe R37 brush um, to get a good base coat all over my eye and my crease. And I'm going to lightly go all over my lid. I like to hold my brush at the end because I feel like I have more control over where I put the product and how I can spread the product. It's a very good transition color. This one is this one. Love it. Go over with the other eye, do the same thing. Next.
next I'm going to take my Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to do it in these two colors, this one and this one. I'm going to go back and forth. Do that all. Go in the outer corner of my eye and work that in. Okay. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this darker shimmer color that I've been on the same brush and also go over that eye. I'm going to just dab that on there. Then I'm, let's see, I'm going to take the lightest color here. And I'm going to help smoke that out and pull it a little bit on my inner corner of my eyelid. Okay. Then I'm going to take my I Love You So Mochi palette. I absolutely love this. I feel like it is so creamy. Like, Yes, I love, 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 love these. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and rub with this last one right here on my finger. This. I'm going to put it on my middle of my eyelid. I like to use my fingers for this because I feel like you can get more of the product and control it better. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this darker color and I'm going to use my M433 brush. Dab a little bit on this brush and go in the outer corner and just dab it in there. Then I'm going to take my Morphe E41 brush and I'm going to wipe away the baking powder. Now I can do my under eyes. I'm going to take my Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to go in with the same color I used on my lid and I'm going to start in my inner corner underneath my eye and work that in. And I'm going to take this darker color do the same thing but I'm going to start on the outer corner. to apply some mascara to my eyelashes. On, I can go ahead and put on some eyeliner. I like the Maybelline. Okay, this is a new bottle. Love this. It is so fine. Go 
coming over my lashes to make a more dramatic look. Okay, I'm going to do my under eye mascara. Now, once that is complete, I can go ahead and start my powder contour. I love this Hula Benefit powder bronzer. It is absolutely amazing. Um, it's the perfect contour bronzer color. It's very cool and warm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Scala brush and I'm going to go upward motions on my cheekbone. And I'm going to take my Morphe E47 brush and I'm going to snatch my nose. And I like to just rub my fingers on it to blend it out. Sometimes when I want a more definition on my contour, I will take my Anastasia contour kit. And I will take my Morphe M530 brush. And the darker color, just dab it on there just a little bit. Just go a little bit lighter in the center. The Anastasia Glow Kit. I love this glow kit. It is so beautiful. And I'm going to take, I don't even know what brush it says, done set, but I thought it was like this. I'm going to take this marshmallow color, that's what it's called, a little bit on there. I'm going to also take a little bit of this butterscotch color. Take a small dab to put on her nose. You can even go in, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Highlight the under brow. And lastly, the face, I'm going to take my, this is so old, my Clinique blush it's in Cupid. Absolutely love it. I've had it for probably, I don't even know how many years. Four years, maybe? I'm going to take my Morphe R10 brush. Just going to have a little bit, I guess, it's got a little bit of pink. to use my favorite lip kit. It's a cutie beauty lip kit. Oops, it's one of them. It's amazing. It comes with three parts. It's a lip liner, a matte lip, and then a gloss. I'm going to outline my lips now. This is such a beautiful color. You can leave it like this, or you can add the color. It's so beautiful too. I'm gonna wait till this mat and dries. Looks like 
looks a little gold in the bottle, but it's beautiful. Here is the finished makeup look. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look just as much as I did creating it. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye.